Mercedes AMG GLC 43 VS Porsche Macon S. Stylish new Mercedes AMG SUV meets established Porsche in muscular 4WD shootout. Mercedes has been slow to plug the compact SUV hole in its UK range, but now that the GLC has arrived, it's not wasting any time with a performance version. This AMG enhanced GLC 43 is a perfect rival to the undisputed hot SUV king, the Porsche Macan, so if the newcomer wants to translate its impressive on-paper potential into road test victory, this is the car it will have to beat. Porsche put the Sport into sports utility vehicle when it launched the Macan in 2014, never before had a near 2,000 kg 4x4 been able to trouble a sports car for handling. But the GLC promises a mix of dynamic ability, practicality, and design, so can it take class honors. Head to head. Model. Mercedes AMG GLC 43 4 MATIC. Porsche Macan S. Price. 48,470 pounds. 46,650 pounds. Engine. 3.0 liter V6 petrol. 3.0 liter V6 petrol. Power slash torque. 362 bhp slash 520 nm 335 bhp slash 460 nm transmission 9 speed automatic four wheel drive 7 speed dual clutch automatic four wheel drive 0 to 60 miles per hour 5.1 seconds slash 155 mph 5.5 seconds slash 157 mph Top speed. 36.7 mpg. 35.6 mpg. CO2 slash tax. 189g slash km slash pound 270. 204g slash km slash pound 295. Options. 360 degree camera, 335 pounds. Night package, 495 pounds. Running boards. 450 pounds, premium plus package, 2,995 pounds, lane tracking, 595 pounds, black ash trim, 195 pounds, metallic paint, 608 pounds, sat NAV, 1,052 pounds, leather interior, 2,162 pounds, panoramic roof, 1,092 pounds, sports exhaust, 1,635 pounds, 20-inch alloys, 1,700 pounds, heated seats, 284 pounds, Bose Plus, 801 pounds, reversing camera, 332 pounds, surround sound, 801 pounds, Connect Plus, 801 pounds, reversing camera, 332 pounds. Mercedes AMG GLC 43. 4. Noise, straight line performance, practicality. Against, vague steering, lethargic dynamics, feels heavy. Next to the Macon's more coupe like styling, the Mercedes GLC is more like a conventional SUV thanks to its upright design. Of course, there's a separate GLC coupe on offer. 2, but this 48,470 pounds GLC 43 is more a match for the 46,650 pounds Porsche. The Mercedes AMG body add-ons including the deep front and rear bumpers, sports exhaust and 19-inch black wheels enhance the look. The shape might be more practical than the Porsches, but these extras certainly pump things up, while dark windows and gloss black window trim provide a hint of subtle menace. And it's justified, given the way the GLC drives. It's eye-wideningly fast for a 4x4, and sprinted from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.1 seconds during our test at the track. Sport and mode gives a lovely crackle from the exhaust on gear changes, punctuating the engine's musical wail. But in this most aggressive setting, the gearbox's upshifts feel a little jerky. It's also too firm for the road, 
but it's easy to rectify both flaws by switching back to the comfort setting. The ride is softer, although more severe bumps do still send a thumping shockwave through the chassis, despite the tall tires, and the transmission is smoother. It changes up quickly to maximize efficiency, but because of the GLC Sportly 1845 kg curb weight, even if you ask for a gentle burst of acceleration, it will kick down two or three gears. It makes for slightly disjointed progress where the Macon is keener to hold a gear. Performance and driving dynamics aren't the be-all and end-all of an SUV like this, though. Elsewhere, the Mercedes excels. The cabin is spacious and nicely crafted. As the GLC is the off-road version of the C-Class, the interior design is identical to Mercedes Compact Exec Saloon, mimicking the S-Class flagship with its circular air vents and sloping center console. Material quality is good on the whole, too. AMG versions also only get man-made Artico leather as standard, while real leather is a 795 pounds option. But this is the only real gripe with the equipment spec, because air suspension, heated seats, keyless go, climate control, SAT NAV, DAB and Bluetooth all come fitted as standard. We've got more concerns about the less material aspects of the GLC, though. Compared with high-performance versions of the C-Class and E-Class, this car doesn't feel as special. There are some nice touches to differentiate it from lesser diesel models, but as it's an SUV, not a full-fat AMG, it doesn't quite give off the same messages, nor does it feel as nicely crafted as the cheaper Porsche. Testers notes. Infotainment, tablet's positioning could be better thought through, plus, its graphics are a bit low res. Off-road package, driving mode selector doesn't feature an off-road setting only GLC Sport models come with this. The Macon gets an off-road function as standard. Steering, two-stage speed-sensitive sports steering isn't as engaging as the Porsche's nicely weighted setup. Porsche Macon S. Porsche took much of the styling inspiration for the Macon from the rest of its sports car range. While the SUV is loosely based on the outgoing Audi Q5 underneath, it looks much sportier than its German rival. The low nose, chunky body, and flowing coupe roofline conjure up a more sporting impression than the Mercedes straight away and the same is true inside. The raised dash and window line give a cocoon feeling, but you still sit high up from the road so the view ahead is as good as the GLC's. As with all Porsches, the rev counter takes pride of place as the largest dial, and mounted in the center of the instrument cluster, it highlights the focus on driver involvement, even though this is an SUV. From the moment you climb inside the Macon, it feels that bit richer and more tactile than the GLC. More surfaces are covered in leather and the contrast in materials compared with the Mercedes including the most prominent interior plastics is noticeable. Full leather seats aren't standard, though, they're a steep 2,162 pounds upgrade. SAT NAV is a 1,052 pounds option, too, which seems miserly on a car costing this much. However, Porsche's 7-inch communication management system comes as standard, as does DAB, all-round parking sensors, Bluetooth, and three-zone climate control. By specifying the extras you'll want, the price is brought roughly into line with the more expensive GLC. Yet the Macon is down on power because its 3.0-liter V6 produces 335 bhp, plus it's not as vocal. Still, with the standard 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox's launch control, the less powerful, heavier 1,865 kg Porsche was only 4 tenths of a second slower than the GLC from 0 to 60 miles per hour, taking 5.5 seconds. It was slower through the gears as well, as it has 7 ratios to the Mercedes 9, it accelerated between 50 and 70 miles per hour in 7th in 7 seconds flat, while the GLC took 6.4 seconds. However, given the Mercedes has two extra gears but identical revs at 70 miles per hour, the difference isn't as big as you might expect, showing the Macon still offers impressive performance. It's more than fast enough, 
as the Porsche's chassis is composed through corners, so you can better use what the engine has to offer. It steers sweetly and with impressive precision for an SUV. On top of this, it feels every inch the luxury off-roader when cruising. It's helped by the smoother, faster gearbox and greater refinement, which means the Macan covers its window of operation as well as the Mercedes. There's even an off-road mode for light work away from the tarmac. Testers notes. Technology, while SAT NAV is an optional extra, Apple CarPlay comes as standard, plus Porsche's Car Connect app brings interactivity to your phone. Seats, driver's seat is positioned high up for a good view up, although full leather is extra. Materials, interior finish feels much better than the GLCs, with plenty of soft touch plastics on display. Verdict. First place, Porsche Macan S. The Macan isn't quite as practical as the GLC, but on the road, it's just as fast and more fun to drive. Spec the adaptive dampers and the Porsche will offer plenty of comfort, while it'll be cheaper to buy, to a bonus, given the car has a higher quality feel and offers a more exclusive, upmarket image. Second place, Mercedes AMG GLC 43. The GLC 43 is a great hot 4x4, offering the exclusivity of an AMG with plenty of practicality. But while it's lightning quick in a straight line, the SUV underpinnings show in corners where the GLC can't match the freakishly good Porsche. It's a shame it doesn't feel that little bit more special, too.